it's quite documented that 50% of the patients don't receive any information about sexual health after a cancer diagnosis and uh, how can we overcome this it's quite uh, uh, it's quite complicated because, in fact, what we know is that patients think, think that the, it's the responsibility of the physician to bring up the topic, and the physician thinks that if it is important, the patient will, will, will talk. And there are multiple barriers, uh, cultural barriers or misconception, also uh, a lack of education uh, of physicians to know that we have effective strategies to overcome such problems. and. Uh, I, I believe really we need to work in several points. The first one would be improving the communication between the patient and the physician uh, ab about the topic. And this includes educating physicians, but also empowering patients to, to bring up questions and, 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 and to talk about the topic. And then we need to really have a link of supportive care strategies and this uh, for this, we will need a multidisciplinary dedicated team, psycho psychologists, uh, gynecologists, sexologists, physical therapists. Uh, we also need to treat concomitant symptoms that may also impact uh, in sexual health. And in this sense, digital health may play a, a, a role in facilitating this and being the network that connects the patient with all these professionals and, and also it's, it may be a way of collecting patient reported outcomes in a continual way so, so the patients are more comfortable about talking about the, the topic. So I think there is a lot uh, of strategies that we can uh, overcome.